हेलो भिवर्स ओलकाम टू माई टेक आपडेट अफिसियल यूट्यूब चैनल पावर बै टेक्नोलॉजी आर एस एस डट कम हेलो इन दिस टीटोरियल हाउ टू इन्स्टल एपाची क्लाउड स्टेक मैनेजमेंट सार्वर ऑन ओवान टू टोटी पॉइंट जिरो फोर दिस इज माई सार्वर इनफरमेशन अपारेटिंग सिसटेम ओवान टू टोटी पॉइंट जिरो फोर माई सार्वर आईपी एड्रेस रैम डिस्क स्पेस सार्विस एपाच क्लाउड स्टेक भार्सन फोर पॉइंट फिफ्टीन माई स्किल भार्सन एट जाभा इलेवेन जेडिके फोस्ट नेम क्लाउड डट टेक्नोलॉजी आर एस एस डट लोकल चेकिंग सार्वर इनफरमेशन ओवान टू टोटी पॉइंट जिरो फोर एंड आईपी एड्रेस दिस इज माइ सार्वर आईपी एड्रेस मास्ट बी सार्वर आपडेट एंड आपडेट complete successfully done update and upgrade then check hostess file just add this entry and delete below this line save and exit then check host name file only cloud then check static ip address and edit resolve.com file add google dns server then save and exit check first name of pdn check internet ping is working fine then install some record package mysql server bridge mysql 8.0 successfully done some packages add cloud stack repo Check cloud stack repo is working. And then apt get update and install cloud stack management and cloud stack uses. This is include uh, many packages. Java. and some required linux packages successfully installation done cloud stack management service now edit some configuration mysql d file under mysql d section comment this two line create cloud stack con file and insert only cloud stack d and restart mysql service and login mysql terminal using the uh, root password is blank now set up mysql password using mysql native password
check password is working yes setup password is working now run cloud stack setup database cloud clone cloud at the rate localhost and deploy as a root using root password now i see mysql username cloud mysql user password server ip localhost mysql server port 3306 mysql root user root mysql root password cloud database file local machine host name slinux and detect local ip address will use as a cluster management server node ip all are is successfully done cloud stack has successfully initialized database you can check your database configuration in etc cloud stack management and db.properties file now cloud stack setup management run this command for checking all is working fine if you not installed default jdk so install it manually now not needed because it is automatically installed and then check log file please ensure the following ports are open for the management server to function properly like 8080 if you have any firewall enable or from this ubuntu server Uh, please wait at least uh, 5 to 10 minutes uh, for import default database into your MySQL uh, cloud database. Uh, so please wait. Now da default database uh, imported done. Uh, now access web UI. This is old UI and this is new UI. This is old UI and this is new UI. Default login is user admin password is password. And now I set up some global conf configuration for private cloud system vm use dot local storage set false to true and ca certificate set true to false admin password Skip this step. Go to global settings and find set edit set false to true and then search. CA certificate true to false and allow internal website set local download ISO web server or public this is ISO server for public Please note that use 
जीरो 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 इज नो ए वैलिड साइट टेन डॉट सिक्सटी सिक्स डॉट हंड्रेड डॉट then must be restart your management server after this global configuration stop and restart then add local domain name for both management and the host server technology rss dot local dot dot local and start rpc service may be not needed check config rpc bind on and rpc con next step separate nfs store server configuration uh, my running nfs server configuration is तो क्रिएट सेकेंडरी स्टोरेज फाइल एंड माउंट सेकेंडरी स्टोरेज इन टू दिस क्रिएटेड डायरेक्टरी एंड देन इंस्टॉल डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल सिस्टम भीम टेम्पलेट यूजिंग दिस कमांड and then you want mnt secondary if you use apache cloud stack management server as a nfs server so don't remove this directory this is step for separate nfs storage server configuration then remove mnt directory and then cloud stack management service stop and start if needed you can reboot your server then access a new ui and old ui successfully installed system vm template and template properties to mnt secondary template temp 1 3 so now Emon this directory mounted directory and remove this directory then stop management service and then start management service now this system is up and running and please see my previous video for customization uh, this new ui and remove this notification and remove logo and go to my video description and see this video Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please submit your valuable comments. Please subscribe my channel, like and share with others and don't forget press the bell icon get the first notification.